Hey guys, Mike Chang here in the Bay Area. Last time I was here, I found one of the best buffets in the country. And this time I think I found another buffet gym that not a lot of people know about. So just sitting here waiting for it to open. And while I do that, I just want to give a big thank you and shout out to the sponsor of this video, Surfshark VPN. I've been talking about using Surfshark VPN for several years now. It's something I always keep running on my phone, my laptop. And if you're not utilizing a VPN service right now, I highly, highly recommend that you do. Because there's so many people every single day trying to gain access to your private online information. From data aggregators trying to sell information to marketing companies. And there are a a lot of those. And there's also people trying to gain access to it for more malicious purposes. So what Surfshark VPN does is that it secures and encrypts your personal information before it goes over the internet. So people who you don't want having access to your private info, they won't have access to it. Also Surfshark has something called Surfshark Alerts. So let's say if someone's trying to gain access to something like your email, you're gonna get notified right away. Also on the entertainment side, if you've seen all the movies and TV shows on Netflix in this country, you can actually use Surfshark VPN to change your location to a different country and check out their Netflix movies and TV shows. Or vice versa, if you're traveling abroad and you want access to your US streaming services, you can change your location back to the US and gain access so you don't miss any of your favorite TV shows. And I mentioned this before when I was traveling abroad, but a lot of US major websites don't even function correctly or don't even load at all when you're abroad. So even doing everyday things like paying bills, I was using Surfshark VPN for that. So if you want to give it a try, go to my link down below. Use my promo code Dumpling. You'll get 83% off your order plus three additional months for free and try it out for 30 days. If you don't like it for any reason, get your money back. All right, let's go check out this buffet. Right now, I'm a in front of Beefsteak A, a steakhouse that offers an all-you-can-eat Sunday brunch. I just walked around the buffet. I think this might just be the most beautiful buffet I've ever been to in my life. As soon as you walked in the door, by the way, this building's gorgeous. You can stop by the front where they pour you a glass of wine or sparkling apple cider, and you can see this open kitchen, and this is where the main foods for the buffet reside, right inside the beautiful kitchen itself. This station right here, all you can eat, four types of caviar. Beef Wellington, there's filet mignon. It is a steakhouse after all. Plus right here, dessert section displays so beautifully. And they also have a bunch of candies and plates and bowls. All right, let's eat. First of all, I don't think I've ever been to a buffet in my life that has a self-served caviar bar. And there's four types of caviar on there. There's trout roll, two types of Topico, and Siberian sturgeon. Mm. That's worth coming here for just that alone. Caviar is buttery, it's briny. Just dissolves into this little umami coating on your tongue. Mmm. And it's so smoky as well. Also, caviar puff. Mm. Anything with caviar is gonna be so, so good. Next up, scallop crudo. Looks like a little peppercorn on here, scallions, and a bit of citrus. Oh my god. Oh, that's amazing. The tenderness of the scallop is off the chart. It has its own natural sweetness. The peppercorn brings a little pop and numbing sensation on the tip of your tongue. And the citrus just accentuates the sweetness of the scallops as well. This is the yellowtail crudo. Mmm. The fish is so fresh. That one, I think, had a little cucumber in there for some additional crunch. Just so citrusy and sweet. Also, some spicy tuna tacos. It looks like fresh wasabi on top. Mmm. Oh, that tuna just melts in your mouth. What I thought was wasabi, it's actually avocado, making that bite even more creamy. I think what a good move would be, put some caviar onto the taco. Mm. Oh, that is definitely the right way to do it. Creamy, fresh tuna with additional burst of briny umami. This is a fish riette. It's basically a pate made out of fish and some trout roll on top as well. Mmm. <laughs> it was really good, especially with a nice savory pop of the trout roll. Smoky as well. One last thing I got, salmon poke. Mm. That's just a classic. Salmon is good, rice is good. I'm gonna put all my leftover caviar into this little poke glass. Another reason why caviar is so great on buffets, you can add it to a lot of different dishes and make it taste even better.
round two, I normally don't get a lot of vegetables, especially at a fancy buffet, but this vegetable section looks really good. There's roasted carrots, asparagus. I can't pronounce this dish, but it looks delicious. Truffle deviled eggs. There's a dish called shrimp louis inside an abalone shell. A wonderful looking Caesar salad. I like to be healthy sometimes. Mmm. Oh, that Caesar salad is so good. Very cheesy and citrusy. Great little starter. I love roasted carrots. What I didn't know about this place, that I found out when I was in the kitchen, so when they roast something on the grill, they're actually using oak wood. So the grilled items all contain a really nice smoky flavor. Mm. Wow, anything roasted on this buffet, you gotta try it. How to get more scallops too. Mm. Double day is one of my favorite things in the world. Mm. That's a giant hit of truffle flavor. And truffle, if you don't know, one of the best things to pair it with is eggs. And that was just outrageous. Shrimp Louis. It looks like some shrimp, veggies, peppers, jalapenos. Mmm. Crunchy, refreshing, with a nice hit of heat. I think I'm ready to go inside the kitchen now. So you can pay extra to get a tomahawk steak. And since this is a steakhouse, I really want to try their steak out. Next plate, got some shakshuka, apple fritters, grilled octopus, deviled ribs, some hash, mussels, a frittata, basically a cauliflower cheese ball. Oh, the shakshuka is beautiful. Oh my goodness, the golden center. Break this frittata apart. This frittata is kind of shaped like a Berkshire pudding. I'm just gonna dip it into that golden eggy yolk. Mm. That's the lightest frittata I ever had in my life. That's so light and yummy. Mm. Mm. The hash is delicious. Octopus straight off the grill with some scallions and tomatoes. Mm. Beautiful char on the octopus. Super tender as well with a burst of sweetness from the tomatoes. Deviled ribs. Oh, this is a must try. This thing has just a ridiculous amount of flavor. Really, really smoky and with an addictive heat. Mm. Mussels are good. Got some grilled scallions because like I said, anything touching the grill, I want some of that. Mm. That smoky flavor gets me every single time. Favorite item on this round, I think it's the devil pork ribs. I mean, everything's good. That was a superb cut of rib. Also, got an apple bin in. It's light, it's fluffy. I haven't had a bad bite of food on this buffet so far. I gotta finish this plate really quickly because my steak is ready. So this is a 36 ounce tomahawk steak. And I covered a portion of it in peppercorn sauce. Steak is cooked perfectly. And it's just beautifully tender. Mm. This place does steak very, very well. Tender, wouldn't even begin describing the texture of the steak. Also, cooked on oak wood, it's much smokier than a typical steak you would get at a steakhouse. Mm. Also, this peppercorn sauce is superb. And there's also a demi-glaze. So I'm just gonna pour some demi-glaze on this little piece. Mm. And also what I like to do, horseradish sauce on the side, add it to your steak. That's gonna give it a little tiny bit of a bite. I think it makes it better. Mm. 
next round is all about the meat. This being a steakhouse, there's unlimited prime rib, also filet mignon. Start with the paquette. Thin layer of skin on the outside, fatty meat with seasoning on the inside. Oh my gosh, look at how juicy and glistening this is. Dip it in a little bit of horseradish sauce. Mm. Perfect balance of fat and lean meat. This thing is so tender, it's bordering on ridiculous. The fattier parts is what I love. What's really interesting about this place, everything they're serving on the brunch buffet is from their regular menu. So these are the regular dishes that you will usually get a la carte. Usually buffets a whole separate menu of dishes that can be whipped up in high quantities. So basically this buffet is pretty much an a la carte buffet, served buffet style. And that is how it tastes as well. Haven't had a bad bite. The quality, the flavor is exquisite. They give me a giant cut of prime rib, by the way. Beautiful color, oh so, so tender. Peppercorn sauce added to the prime rib. Mm. Yeah, this place has their steaks down. That is one tender cut of prime rib. But as I'm eating that, I just catch myself staring at the beef wellington. I've never seen beef wellington on a buffet before. First time I had beef wellington was in Vegas at Gordon Ramsay's. This one looks so good. Mm. Mm. This is so good. Granted, I've only had two beef wellingtons in my life. This one is way better. The flakiness of the outside crust is incredible. Flaming on inside, melt in your mouth, tender herbs that's stuffed between the crust and the flaming yawns. The perfect flavor. You don't need anything on this. This is gorgeous. And the best part. It's all you can eat. They said to add a little demi sauce on here, so I will, but really don't need much at all for this beef wellington. Mm. I think after my first beef wellington at Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen, I thought it was good, but I wasn't a fan of beef wellington. I am now. Unbelievable. I think another slice of this and some caviar, and then we'll start on dessert. Another plate of Fleming Yon beef Wellington, and I'm adding caviar to the steak. Oh. It's like adding little popping umami bombs to your already delicious tender steak. I think the beef Wellington with the caviar. Mm. That might be one of the most flavorful bites of steak. Another piece of grilled octopus. <laughs> also, there's a baked goods area. Got some monkey bread, croissant with fresh apricot jam. Mm. This is basically a cinnamon roll. And croissant with fresh jam. How are you going to resist that? All right, dessert time. There's so many desserts here. Of course, everything is made in house. Look at this, melon boba tea. Whoa, melon juice, a little popping boba inside. Mm. A little bits of melon here as well. Creme belay is a must try. Mm. Oh, I think I almost brought a tear to my eyes. So creamy and soft. A little bit of caramelized sugar on top. Wow, a little raspberry mousse. Mmm, it's tart but not overly so, which has always been my biggest problem with raspberry mousse. This is perfect. Chocolate mousse. Oh, that's pure perfection. Cloud-like, bittersweet chocolate. Every dessert item so far, exquisitely made. Wow, mango gelato. I think this is some sort of pistachio cake. This is really interesting. Really nutty, fruity, there's fresh strawberries on top. I think there's a little chili in the middle. I'd say some sort of spices in here as well. Mm, it's really good. Mm. I think they made this with jasmine. Like when I'm walking around, I smell jasmine everywhere. And one bite of this, that floral fragrance just surrounds you. This is a root beer flow cupcake. Mm. 
Might even taste like a root beer flow. I think there might be some soda or something inside the cake itself. I think my favorite dessert might be a tie between that awesome panna cotta and the creme brulee. Those are just some exquisite dessert items. But overall, desserts here don't really even taste like they're from a buffet. Like if you eat the dessert section here compared to like a dessert section on like, I don't know, a Vegas buffet, there is no comparison. It's so much better. And that's pretty much goes with every single dish I tried here. Everything's cooked perfectly. It's presented beautifully. Even the spoon, look at this. That's beautiful. Spoons, the forks, the staff here are incredibly attentive. This is definitely one of the best all-you-can-eat brunch buffets that I've ever been to. I mean, serve yourself caviar bar. That doesn't exist anywhere else in the world. So the price of this buffet is $115. You get the whole buffet. You can order a steak if you want. You don't have to. I just did it. Just I want to try out the steakhouse. Again, like all the dishes are listed in their menu. Just the caviar and the scallops, I think, will make this buffet worth it. I think they sell like a little tin can of, of caviar at Whole Foods for maybe uh, 60 bucks, 70 dollars or something. Here, all you can eat. Plus the flaming young, the beef wellens, and all the stuff that comes out of a grill. Incredible. You guys in the Bay Area are really lucky. Couple of the best buffets I've ever had of located here. In this place, I don't think a lot of people know about this place yet. So definitely come here before it gets really hard to get a reservation. As always, information for this place is listed down below for you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.